All right, welcome back to Missing Persons TV. I'm Brian Lab with my co-host Deborah. Uh, today's Wednesday, July fifteenth, two thousand nine, uh, ten thirty-five p.m. Um, tonight we're going to be discussing one case that I have. Uh, and that's case number seven seventy-nine, uh, Brianna Byer. This case was opened today. Um, actually, it was open yesterday. Uh, we're going to talk about it today. I do have two other cases sitting here. I have not posted them to the internet yet. Uh, we we may discuss them tonight um, on the air. Um, uh, but if we don't get to them, they will be posted on the website tonight or, or tomorrow morning. Um, and I'll also have two other cases to review then, too. Um, anyway, so let's get started. I have Deborah Brink and uh, Kevin Doyle on the phone. How are you guys doing? Doing great, Brian. Thanks. I'm doing fine. Thanks. How are you? Fine. Uh, so here's what we did. Uh, off air, we discussed uh, how to maybe raise awareness uh, for missing people in, in the show and whatever. So the first decision we made is we're going to put Deborah in charge. So from now on, Deborah is the producer of this uh, show, our Missing Persons show. It's still called Missing Persons TV, right, Deborah? Yes, it is. Okay, unless you want to change it. And and Kevin is going to be Deborah's assistant. So if you guys have any suggestions for the show, uh, what you like, what you don't like, which is probably most of what you see, uh, contact Deborah. Um, so I'm just here to do what they tell me to do. Okay. So I thought that's the way it already was. Sort of. Prior to tonight. Yeah, now it's official though. Okay, oh, okay. so I'm just going to sit here and play with my cup, the mystery cup. If you can see that right there. Okay, so what do we do next, Deborah? Oh, come on now. <laughs> um, can I tell you what I did today? Yeah, you, okay. you normally do. Just okay. do what you normally do, please. I went swimming in the Potomac looking for a fishing bait. Um, and the bait is halgamites. They're, uh, uh, they're the little creatures that... You ever seen Star Trek when they put that thing in the guy's ear? You know that. You know what I'm talking about? What, what was the episode that started with? I didn't think those with? things existed. Well, this is sort of... I think this is what they use. They look just like it. They're called halgamites. Anyway, so you I swam out. The Potomac River is really low right now, really nice and warm and clear. So I swam out there um, with some goggles on and went down to the bottom, and they, they're underneath these big big rocks. Uh, oh, they can't hear us. Or see us, Deborah? Uh, they say that they can't hear. No one can hear. Okay, well, the VU meter is moving. So I, I don't... can hear you. You're, you. I can see and hear either. You can see in here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because as far as I know, Deborah, the VU's the meter's moving. It's it's showing that we're on. So. Okay, um, we have a couple people who logged out, who I'm sure are going to log right back in. Right. That's probably because we got okay, disconnected. Tammy can hear. I mm -hmm. believe Hawaii can hear us too. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you have any problems like that, uh, you know, there's a little icon up there. I think you click on the little audio button or something, or refresh it or something. That should work. If not, you can always watch the recording. Um, so, so anyways, the halgamites are uh, little creatures, and they live underneath rocks. Um, they get about like that long. Um, when they get about that long, they sprout wings and fly away. <laughs> they, they actually they do. Um, they're those little big flying things that you ever seen with little pinchers on them. Deborah, you you've, you've never seen one, huh? No, not. Uh, no, I haven't. Kevin, Don't did, care to either. they have halgamites in Florida? Can you get one of those in a jar and show it to us next time? Yeah, I was gonna. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna show it to you right now. I actually have them in this, in this cup. Um, they got pinches and they do bite. Um, that's how you know you have one. You stick your hand down there. <laughs> no, it, that's not how you do it. Um, but no, actually, I went down there with goggles on. Um, and you just the bigger the rocks, the bigger the halgamites. And there's and I noticed there's only one per rock. I guess maybe they're really territorial or whatever, um, but they're usually on the bottom of the rocks. And, and uh, you flip the rock over and you reach down and you grab it, and they will, they'll bite you. They'll they'll pinch you. Those little pinchers do pinch, but it doesn't really hurt that bad. Um, I've never tried noodling, but I think I, I think I would try that too. I just never had a chance to experience that. Do you guys know what noodling is? What can, can you use them for bait or something? Yeah, that's what they're for. They're for fishing. Um, de yeah, definitely. That's what kind of fish can you catch with them? Uh, you can catch trout, you can catch catfish, you can catch a, a lot of different things. Um, the fish love them, apparently. Um, so I'm going to try these instead of worms. Worms work pretty good, too, for catfish. 
Are they like crayfish? They got meat on them or something? No. No, they're like a... I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. Have you, have you heard of you know what noodling is? No. Okay, noodling is, is where... Deborah, do you know what noodling is? No, I don't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Catfish, they when they spawn, they, they put themselves in, like, you know, sides of... They, they find a basically a hole. A lot of times in, in the rivers, there's, like, holes in the uh, riverbeds or on the sides of the river. There's, there's holes that catfish go into, and you take your hand, and you stick your hand in the hole. And the catfish is they got really big mouths, and they, they, you stick your hand, and then they'll bite. They bite your hand. They, they bite and they lock down, and then you just pull the catfish out. <laughs> That's how you catch them. Seriously, I kid you not. Do you want to try it, Deborah? No, I have. I've never tried. Is that never, how you catch them? What's that? Is that how you catch them? That's how some people catch them. Yeah. Um, you know, it's actually a sport. I believe in Oklahoma, it's legal to do it. It's legal to do it in a lot of places. It's actually, noodling season. But um, um, I'm trying to find a good one here. I'm playing with these guys right now. Um, that's how some people catch. I get cat. I get, use it when I go catfishing. I use chicken lovers. Um, but yeah, that's definitely another way of catching. I mean, just I think it's a little scary though. Sticking your hand in the hole and you really don't. There could be turtles in there. I mean, there could be. We have eels. In the in the Potomac, I mean, there could be anything in there. So you got to have a lot of guts. Well, as long as that's the only appendage that you're using, I guess it's okay. Yeah, you, you st <laughs> yeah. That's it. Stick your hand in there, and uh, I had a big one. Okay. Make sure you got on a really good bathing suit. Okay. You want to see the halgamite? One got away. Ooh, hold on. I got to get your computer. They'll probably give you a virus. I got a dozen here. Halgamite virus. Halgamite. Okay, this is a halgamite. Uh oh. Oh, uh, it froze there for a second. Okay, hold on. And if you can see, so they it's can, a good size. I don't. I'm not an expert. I, I know right now he's trying to bite me. Look at that. That looks like a mole cricket. You know what a mole cricket is? No. We have mole crickets down here. They they go into the grass and people kill them because they eat eat something in the grass or the roots, and they try to bite you, but they don't they don't hurt or anything. No, they pinch. These guys pinch pretty. Maybe if I hold a piece of paper up here. Okay, hold on, I got a better idea. Let me see him now. Why he says it looks like a leech. Well, it's not a leech. How do you, you just hook him with a hook? Yeah, I guess so. I looked it up the on the, yeah. I didn't want to show you the pinchers on these guys. The, the, these or are the guys, I... in the video, you know, you know what I mean? In uh, during Star Trek, I think these are the, what they use. Probably not, you know, halgamites, but I mean, something like that. Hold on. They, they probably did. Hold on. If you're talking about the original Star Trek, man, that was like 25 years ago, so they probably. No, did not the original Star. In the movie. Yeah, the movie. Huh. The movie is 25 years ago. Yeah, you're talking about the Wrath of Khan, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh. that was like 1980, Brian. 1979. Oh. I guess you're right. Hold on. Actually, it's 27 years ago. Okay, there. But they probably did use that because they didn't have, <laughs> didn't have digital technology. I want to show you the pinchers on. He won't. They can probably right. really feel it on your face. Yeah, that's what I was going to show you. Do. I don't know. You want me to try? I, I can try one for you. You know, it might make a lot more people aware of missing persons if yeah, you did that. Yeah, I'm sure it would. Ah! Okay. Yep. He goes back. Oh, can you, like, put them in a... They live in an aquarium? I don't know. I've got them in a cup of water right now. I'm going to put them back in the river if we're not going to use them for bait. I want, I want, to, I want to show you the teeth on these guys. Water. I don't know. I think they breathe there, but I think they can stay under for a long time. 
But they're mostly uh, air creatures. No, they're mostly water. The uh, they they as larvae they stay in the water, on kind of deep too, uh, until they I guess sprout wings. But I mean, I, I guess they would have to come up to breathe air, or maybe not. Maybe there's enough air in the water because you know because of the because they're in a river and you know there's currents and stuff in the air. But can you see the pictures right. now? Hold on. I see a little black thing with a head on it. Okay, now those he's opening and closing. He will bite. The other one bit me and it hurt. Hey, you, you see that? Try taking a picture. I see his pictures. Yeah. Hey, it looks like a mole cricket. We have them down here in Florida. You can catch them in, under rocks and stuff above ground. Well, so that's what I did, Deborah. Well, it sounds like fun. Try yeah. Yeah. Here, Brian. That's, what kind of, that's what I was kind of that's what I kind of do like the movie, but they leave, they fall off. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. Okay, stay. Here we go. Oh, oh my! He's going for my ear. Never mind. Okay, I'm done. But I think I think that's what they used in Star Trek. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to have to go to the emergency room and to have them remove something from my ear. That that was it, Deborah. I'm done now. Okay. Okay. I wasn't being rude. I, I just wasn't really paying attention because it was oh, don't, don't worry. Yeah, that's fine. And, you know. Yeah. But they, they they the one did bite me, but it, it really doesn't hurt that much. Um, actually, it helps when you're collecting them too, because when you reach down, they actually they grab onto you, sort of. But if I go noodling, I'll um, I'll take some videos for you. Okay. Yeah, All right. <laughs> what? Then you can cook what catfish and stuff. Oh, I have my snakes. No, so I, I've got my snake skin that I I tanned. I ate that too. It wasn't that good. Jamie's asking when is Brian gonna put his tur turtles on the air. <laughs> I don't have any turtles, but I saw one we today. Do. I don't have it. I don't have a pet turtle. We do. I can. My snake might be. Iguana. You got an iguana, right, right, Kevin? Yep. Uh, Diane just posted a link in here. I think it's for uh, to show you, Brian, what mole crickets look like. Mm-hmm. Got a Maybe dinosaur. if you look at that thing, it'll show you what mole crickets look like. Cause they, I think they look like the what that thing you had there. Okay. Yeah, but these are larvae, I guess, and they get bigger. Um, the, the things are huge when they be, when they fly. You'll definitely know when you, you you see one. I'll look at that link too. But no, they live in the yeah, bottom. You might be you might be surprised when you look at them too, cause they they probably look like what you just had there. But they're not larvae, I don't think. No, I don't know too much about them. I just know you fish with them. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh... You there, Deborah? Yes, I'm here. Okay, what are we doing? We're gonna, you want me to do the case right now? Whenever you're ready. Okay. I am ready. Okay, this is case number 779, uh, Brianna um, Beyer. Uh, the case was uh, actually opened on the 12th. Um, uh, dream drawings were posted on the 12th. Um, and um, MySpace was just posted today. Uh, I got that from you, Deborah. Uh, links to the form are up. Um, Deborah, what information do we have for Brianna? Uh, Brianna Beyer was just reported missing recently. And she's been missing from Baltimore County, Maryland. She was reported missing on the 8th of this month. She's actually been missing since April 16th. Uh, Brianna Michelle Beyer is 16 years old. And on April 16th of this year, she was supposed to be meeting her mom for lunch that day. And um, she didn't end up having lunch with her mom and she didn't end up showing up at her home either. 
Uh, she's a white female, five feet, six inches tall, 235 pounds, brown eyes and straight brown hair. She's been known to run away in the past. Uh, police are concerned because she may be pregnant. And um, there's recent information that suggests that she may be frequenting the area of North Avenue in Baltimore City. Um, the MySpace link I gave you is Brianna's MySpace and it appears that she's logged into her MySpace. She's been logging into it. Okay. Yes, and she's been missing anyway. Okay, and how do they know that? If you look at the date of the last login on her okay. MySpace. <clears throat> okay. Do, do police know? The last login was actually um, the police know that? July first. Did, did, did the police know that? Did the police that? know that? I would, I would guess they do because they normally check their MySpaces. Um, yeah, that's one of the first things they do. Okay. So. Uh, do we have a color picture of her? Uh, there's some additional pictures on her MySpace. If you want a color one? I can um, see what I can find here on her MySpace. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know, I have a. That's one they use that the police department's using for her. The black and white one is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I've got three dream drawings. The first one says, uh, uh, "He's with her." Uh, talked about music collection and uh, LimeWire. Um, I believe. I, I believe that the music collection is probably came from LimeWire, and LimeWire is a P2P peer-to-peer -peer, uh, software sharing site. Uh, so. Maybe you know, looking into that, into the, into the, there was a LimeWire account like that. You can probably get a lot of information there. Um, the second one says mattress uh, ashtray and the the number eight eight nine four. I think this is an empty room with a mattress on the floor, left hand side of the uh, of the room, an ashtray next to that. And to me, those are some probably uh, uh, horizontal blinds, um, maybe maybe damaged, um, and then a string to the right. Uh, the next dream drawing says. Um, Ocean Diner uh, and the number 888 and that might be uh, part of the diner. Um, that's all I have. I don't have, I don't think that she is uh, in danger though. Um, and nor, nor, nor is, I don't, I don't think she, I guess, I don't think she's in danger. Um, and that's all I have. Now Kevin, did you find this case? Uh, yes. Okay. What do you got? Uh, for my meditation, and I hope it's not true. I have uh, Dead Seas Creek or River, Winter Time, Little Snow, um, Country Home, buried, Body Buried, and or murder, murder took place there. Sean Knows, Family Secret, Between New Hampshire and New York, Small Town, In or Near Small and large hills deputy knows something may catch murderer or murderers soon my notes after the meditation brianna may have been murdered by a family or someone whose family members may know of it possible that someone in law enforcement may know or have a lead on the case and that's all i have okay well i hope that's not true um but I'm going to post that right under there. Uh, so uh, maybe law enforcement is involved. Um, okay, that's not, not that's not good news. But let me post that. Uh, Kevin, can you send that to me an email now? Yeah, I, I just okay. did a while ago. Okay, okay, thanks. Um, yep. And I got your color picture, Deborah. Let me post that real quick. Um, the website. Oh, yes, and actually, it looks like that is a photo taken since she's been missing. It's been added to her MySpace since she went missing anyway it was added early june let me visit since this is the only case let me visit the myspace um yeah that one there is added to the piercings album but it's a good close-up of her face and a very recent photo Is there anything on here about her being missing? This is just a personal. No. This is her personal MySpace. Yes. Oops. Am I going to hear that too here in a second? What's 
Am I going to hear that noise too? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that, that's, that's Beyonce. Okay. She lists herself as a 20 year old female. Goes by the name of Ghetto White Girl. She has 411 friends. Popular girl. How much does well, she weighs, Deborah? Um, is it like 235 or something? Let me double check here. Um, yeah, 235, five feet, six inches tall, 235 pounds. Nothing's on this MySpace okay. about her being missing. No. And it appears that she's been logging into it and even, you know, posting her photos. Now, can't they... Yeah, yeah I would think so. We should be able to contact MySpace and, and get an IP or whatever, right? Yeah, where's the link to the, to, to the missing person site? Can I just Google her name? Uh, yeah, here, this is from the um, Baltimore okay, County. Okay, this picture, she's sideways. I'm going to have to flip that around. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I figured you could do that a lot easier when you sized it and everything else. Um, here, um, this is the uh, press release from law enforcement from Baltimore County. This is the current one. The one she's got a uh, an earring right here. A pierced lip. Yeah, yeah, pierced lip. Yeah, it, it actually was put on her MySpace early June, and she's been missing since April 16th. Okay, is, is that piercing on the on the on the sheet? Um, they don't list piercings or tattoos or anything and That's, she must have additional piercings because she added that photo to her piercings album that would be good if they posted that on the um on, on the police report right i would think so yes okay. but it's not an official poster or anything it's a press release she doesn't have an official poster yet not that I've seen anywhere. Be interesting to know what her top eight friends have got to say. Deborah, did, did you, you say that she was pregnant? Uh, her family suspects that she could be pregnant. Hit me up so, when uh, you get this. Law enforcement is very concerned because she, you know, 16 year old out there pregnant and, you know, for these months, probably not getting prenatal care and Gosh only knows, you know, no offense to Brianna, but, you know, teenagers and being out there in the world, you know, drinking drugs, all kinds of things can happen, and that is not good for a baby. I'm wondering if I picked that up on my meditation, but if, if it, maybe if the baby was harmed or something, or it, hope, hopefully the baby won't get harmed or die or anything be born addicted to something or have there's a uh, there's phone there numbers or... there's phone numbers posted in these these uh um whatever you call them comments here give me a call and then the phone numbers here 443-854-0239 hey how about maybe they'd like to be on the show why would you can we look at that link then so Sounds did, like to me she's she's uh this is for this is the police you know just this is the police department um link right yes okay. Mar um Baltimore County Maryland I'm two hours from there if she's still posting on MySpace then she doesn't really care if she's missing police are looking for okay. her or anything missing since April sixteenth April sixteenth it went in this this report is when July 8th. That's when she was reported missing. By her parents? Don't understand why. By because she's 16, but hopefully there's a reasonable explanation for that. Other than uh, the parents know where she's at and that they just threatened her and said, we're going to call the cops on you. Right. She 
white female, five foot six inches tall, two hundred and thirty five pounds. She doesn't look like she's two hundred and thirty five pounds. No, she definitely doesn't in her <laughs> face. Most of her shots are headshots and upper body shots. Five six, two hundred and thirty five pounds. No but way. Her profile picture. Okay, well maybe. Is, she, well. Uh, a shot of her body. Her profile picture. You see that she's heavier in that picture then. Okay. Police are concerned because she may be pregnant, according to your family. Um, so that way it doesn't have anything to do with pregnancy because that was April 16th. Or did, or does it? I don't think so. Okay. At least not that much. Unless it's a really healthy kid. Mm. Well, the thing is, you know, if you look at her status and her mood, on June 17th at 12.51 in the morning, she says her mood is blah, and her status is drinking with my best friend. Anyone want to join? So while she's missing, she's drinking, and she's possibly pregnant. And since she's been missing for some months now, yeah. most likely quite a ways along in her pregnancy now, too. Good, so the, the police are asking for the public's help, but this is all the police have to put out. This little paragraph. Yeah. Why well, he's asking if, if it's the same girl that disappeared on spring break? No, I don't think What's so. No, no. Uh, why is asking is this the same girl that disappeared during spring break? I, I don't break think. I don't think so. Looked oh, like no, she was uh, skinny. No, that was Brittany Drexel. Um, she's missing from um, New York State. Rochester, New York, actually, and she went to Myrtle Beach with her friends when her mom told her that she couldn't, and she went missing in Myrtle Beach. That's Brittany Drexel. Very thin blonde. And she is still missing also. But I would think that Brianna should be listed on National Center. You know, if law enforcement is asking for the public's help. Right. You know, and they're the ones that, you know, it needs their authorization, their signature to get her, anyone Baltimore County National Police Center. are asking for the public's help in locating a 16-year-old girl um, missing from her home in the precinct of 2 slash Woodland, Woodlawn area. Okay, so the police are asking for help, and she's signing into MySpace. I certainly hope the police yeah. know that. Okay. Okay. If, you look, if you look at the other comments here, on June 3rd, while she's missing, her mood is blessed, and there's no comment there, just that she's okay. blessed. I am sure and that MySpace, the, along with their comment. service provider, could probably pinpoint where she's at. Case closed. Yeah, no, Brian, why don't you leave a comment there? Brian, why don't you leave a comment there and say, hey, uh, I just had a dream about you. Yeah. No. She goes next to uh, June seventeenth. Drinking Deborah, with my best friend. Anyone can you want to join? Send, can you send the Baltimore, the Baltimore County Police Department an email or something saying, "Hey, uh, you know, she signed in the Skype. Have you you looked at that?" Yes, I will. Oh, I will you. send them the email with okay. a link to her MySpace. Well, didn't you say that she's with a guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, on June twentieth, I got a picture of a picture of the guy too. In the morning, she says, "I can't wait till he get back." And her mood is loving him with hearts. Okay. I got a drawing of the guy. The first stream drawing is a, is a drawing of the guy. And there's an X there, too, and all the X means. She's signing in her MySpace. I don't... How could it be that hard to find her? Well, it's probably not if if somebody's looking. <laughs> you know, I mean... I don't know. But if you, if you want, just email them and say, hey, you know... By, by the way, I mean, and then you know, a picture of her, like, that we could kind of see, a little clearer than what they have right there. This is black and white, and you can barely see her. Right, and here's, here's her. Here's one, right, here's a really clear one. Her MySpace since she's been missing also with right. her new piercing. Right, and that's that's something important. A piercing is something people see. Yeah, exactly. there's clearly no piercing in this one. There's a piercing in the next one. Well, I would hope that, that law enforcement hasn't, you know, missed this going on here. Well, this, I don't see how you, I, I don't know. Okay, anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, what's up next?
caught a possum. Do you want to see a possum? No, I'm just kidding. No possum. possum uh, okay. no. You can get a dinosaur. I think that's called a pterosauratops. That's what that is. Don't Triceratops? Triceratops, sorry. Triceratops, yes. I think that's what that is with the, the shield. Uh, don't they have those spin things on their back? Down the hole. This one doesn't. Maybe got the wrong dinosaur. Hmm. Well, maybe I can't remember which dinosaur is which anymore. It's been a lot of years. My son knows them. My like son knows every one of them. Team tomorrow. <laughs> uh, any, anything else? Any other cases or anything, or are we good? I think we're good. Um, the the two cases that you you worked on last night, uh, you haven't posted to the web yet. You're gonna get those posted later on tonight. Or I can I can do that tomorrow. when we hang when we do when we hang up. I'll do I'll, do, I'll just I'm just gonna scan them, uh, and put the pictures in and then op open it and then publish it. And that's it. It won't take that long. Well, and we'll cover those tomorrow night, and then you know <clears> that'll be easier for those. That are in in both cases, I don't. In both cases, I don't see um, see any danger either. So but that's, that's what I, I mean. At least what from what I have. Um, real quick, the Michael Jackson case. I did post updates. Um, the you, there's there's reports in the news now that you know they're thinking maybe it could be a homicide or something. Um, you know, all all I know is what I have from the dreams and and, and everything. Um, I put a there's a link right there if you guys want to um, to 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 go to that case um, Michael Jackson uh, case. Um, I guess that's it, Deborah, right? Uh, probably. Kevin, you got anything? Um, no. I uh, just glad everybody's here and um, I'm glad that this show still exists and. Hope it keeps on going. Uh, I hope, hope. Oh yeah, it it will, right, Deborah? Um, right. Yes, it sure will. Okay, so Deborah's going to be the show producer. So um, if you want any, if you have any ideas for uh, whatever you want us to talk about, uh, you know, as long as it's missing person related, uh, we'll be happy to, to talk about it. Um, Do I get a raise then too? Yeah, and can I can I get one too? Sure. Okay. I did mention earlier that I thought that it would be cool to do a, to get a, a wider spectrum of um, understanding and awareness concerning missing persons. But if we could talk to somebody who's incarcerated, who was involved with kidnapping or abduction or something involving missing persons, just to put some more reality and uh, direct uh, perspective into missing persons and, and, our, and including our society. Because you know whether they're incarcerated or not, there there's all kinds of people out there. So you know just to bring some more awareness to it. You know I think that's an excellent idea, Kevin. So uh, Deborah's going to get a bunch of pen pals, a bunch of new ones, right? Deborah. In De my spare time. Okay. Um, no, I think that's a really good idea. Um, well, that's a wonderful idea, and you know for those listening. In addition to, you know, you're always asking for psychic help and, you know, anyone that can help in any way, shape, or form. If there's any psychologist or neurologist or any type of specialist, social workers, anyone that may be able to give some insight. Speaking of psychic help, uh, to date, the people that um, have helped us, I can put on one hand. And there's so many psychics out there that, that you know, that say they can help, but we don't. We don't. We don't get anything. Um, is it? Is it because you don't want to post something publicly because you, you think you're going to be wrong or something? Well, we we don't care. Um, well, whatever you got, please send it to us. Uh, like I said, as far as far as I can remember, Christine Hamlet, Dalton Crop, Gail St. John, Travis Sanders, Reginald Lewis. That's five. Am I missing anybody? I don't think so. Okay, that's five people. Yeah, I'm not a psychic. I just had meditations. Kevin Doyle. Kevin's on. Kevin, you're on the phone with us. 
You're... I don't count them on the phone. <laughs> For the past five years. Yeah, you're here, Kevin, so. Uh, darn it. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, around uh, 9 o'clock, right, Deborah? That's right, it's scheduled for 9. <laughs> okay. Good night, guys.